Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren. Today we're gonna do a quick little walk around of the Inkbird Wi-Fi sous vide unit. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter. Sous vide and chilling from fire and water. Alright guys, this is going to be a short and sweet little video. I'm just going to cook these two little steaks. Um, these are the New York uh, strip dries, New York strips I did. I'm going to cook those up for my dinner with my wife tonight. And I've been using this ink bird now for a little over a month and it works actually pretty good. It's 1000 watts of power, which it's plenty of power. It's um, not quite 1200, not quite 800 like the uh, some of the Innovas. So it is kind of like right in between. But I found it works actually pretty good on medium sized um, containers. So it has a Wi Fi connection, which means it also has an application you can use. The menu of the recipes that are on the application are not the most extensive, they're kind of basic. So don't look for um, fancy recipes on the application. What the application will do though, it's easy to get set up and it's easy to control it from inside your house or outside of your house. Once you get it set up to your Wi-Fi um, network at home and get it locked into your phone or your iPad, it'll work really good. You can control the temp, you can turn it on or off, adjust it, all that. It does have some basic times and temps in there, but just doesn't have any fancy recipes or pictures like you may be used to seeing with the Anova app or the Jewel app, but it is very functional and like I said, for what it is, it works good. So if you do click on the sous vide here, you can see it does bring up a little menu. So you can pick different times and temps and all that um, on various different proteins. You can set the clock here. You see that the clock, I'll zoom in here. See the clock at the temperature at the bottom, set for two and a half hours at so 131. And I'm just going to go ahead and start it. Right now the water's at 79 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And then I'm going to turn you around and then you can see that I actually started the unit. And if you notice, it's not very noisy. And if you look at the circulation of the water, it's circulating really well also. It's got a very strong circula uh, circulator in there. I kind of want to take the um, top off real quick so you guys can hear. I'm going to move the microphone closer. You can hear that's very, very quiet, especially for the amount of circulation that's going on. It's a very quiet um, circulator. I've had the Gourmias and the Chef Men and some other. Um, models that are in this price range that are a lot noisier and some of them don't even circulate as well. So far we've had this turned on for about two minutes now. It started at 80 degrees, it's already up to 87 so it's heating that water up pretty quick. Like I said it is a thousand watts so it is a pretty decent um, power on the circulator and the uh, heating element. I'm going to go ahead and let this water heat up a little bit <clears throat> and then we'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, it's been another minute or so and it's already up to 194. But one of the things I kind of want to show you just so you understand what I'm talking about as far as the app goes. You can see it's monitoring the temp and the time pretty well. So it's, uh, I said it's pretty good at that. But as far as, let's just say, I'll we'll pick a beef, as far as the recipes go, and you hit recipes, let's just say, do a steak, and it gives you some basic um, instructions <laughs> as far as that goes, but that's about it. It really doesn't, you know, you can hit your ingredients, it doesn't really give you a whole lot. I mean, it's not fancy, it does have some basic directions and then you can hit the heating button and it will kind of give you 
the options again but like I said when you if you're looking to buy this you're looking at basic functionality of the app to be able to control the temperature and the time from away from the house or from across the room and making sure that the temperature of the unit holds really well that it's not spiking up and down or changing or that it's lower than what it's supposed to be my biggest issue in these cheaper units is that they don't circulate usually really well and they don't hold the temperature really well this does them actually really well and it's quiet on top of that now is this going to be in the same league as the jewel and the anova no it's still a little cheaper cheaper made the plastic on here is kind of more rough um, the lcd screen is not quite as fancy doesn't have the wheel the clip for the units not all that great um, this big piece here on the bottom kind of can interfere with your lid sometimes but those are just minor things as far as I'm concerned. If you're looking for a unit that is cheaper, you know, for your budget, that's going to work really well. Um, I don't know how long as far as uh, this is going to last. It only has a one year warranty, which most of these cheaper units do. Uh, Inkbird's been around a while, so I know they'll honor their warranty. So as far as longevity, I think it would last at least a year with no problem if not they'll take care of it but um, as far as you know you can't really tell because it's still a newer unit but from what I've seen so far I think it'll last a lot longer than a year so it works really well I've had no issues whatsoever like I said with fluctuations in temperature with the um, circulator no issues whatsoever with the LCD screen or anything like that I've had no spikes in power or the temperatures jumping around. Once I got the Wi-Fi app hooked up, it's worked great. As you can see, it's been about um, seven minutes now, I think, and it's up to 107 degrees, so we're getting there pretty quick. And that water was started at 80, so it's it's getting getting up there pretty quick. So, all right, guys, I'll be back when I throw the stakes in. All right, all. The uh, temp just sounded, and what this does, it only will do one beep to tell you that it's up to temp. And as far as I know, it doesn't give any kind of notification on your mobile device, no pop-up or anything. So you just got to kind of pay attention to it. And like I said, it was only about 10 minutes or so. Started at 80 degrees, and then got up to 131 within 10 minutes. So you can tell that it, uh, it's, it is a smaller container, so it's not a whole lot of water. And we're only cooking these two small steaks today. So works really well as far as that goes on uh, average, I would say. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these steaks in. They're frozen right now. And the water temp will drop a little bit, but it'll get back up. But we're only going to do these, you know, for an hour and a half or two hours. It should be just fine on these. So I'm going to drop these in. Like I said, as you can see here, what I'm talking about as far as the lid. So you do got to lift it up just a little bit. Put these stakes in. Put the lid back on. Then you can drop it back down. But, you know, this is kind of bulky. It really should have been a little bit more rounded off here. Or this piece could actually came up a little higher. So it didn't interfere with the um, lid as much. But, um, overall, it's a great working unit um, haven't had any issues like I said with some of the bigger things that I like to uh, pick on so all right we'll be back when these are done all right all it's been just about two hours so I'm gonna go ahead show you just um, from the instant read thermometer it's telling me it's 131 here on the unit itself and I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to take it as far away as I can here. So, as you can see on my instant read, it's within a half a degree. And that's as far this way as it can get. So, 130.6, which I'm happy with that because it's far from the where the actual 
reading is from the uh, sous vide unit itself. So under a half a half a degree off, which is pretty good for me, and still very quiet as you can hear, no noise at all. So pretty impressed with this unit. Like I said, I haven't had any issues of it, you know, fluctuating. Uh, temp holds pretty steady. It's quiet, circulates just fine. Check it out, guys. The Inkbird sous vide unit with Wi Fi, 1000 watts. Check it out on Amazon. I'm going to have a link to it below. They come out with coupon codes all the time. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following me on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Check out the Fire and Water Cooking Podcast. And I'll see you on the next video.